Hi kids, welcome back. Let's finish lesson six. We're talking about soccer. We're talking about a certain person who is on the soccer field. Who is that? We talked about two teams, right? You have to have two teams to play, but there's another person on the field, and that person is called the referee. Referee. A referee is not a coach. The referee is not a teacher. The referee is like a judge. They look and they say it's okay or not okay. When people play a game, right, sometimes people make mistakes. The referee says, oh, that's a mistake or that's not fair, right? When you play a sport or any game, you want to make sure that the game is fair, that it's okay. Okay, so the referee makes players follow the rules. Follow the rules rules. Very important expression. You follow the rules when you play a game. When you go to school, you follow the rules. No running, no hitting, <laughs> okay? Those are the rules. You should follow the rules. Follow the rules. It, many games have different rules, like soccer. We talked about the rules of soccer. You can move the ball with your feet. Only goalies can use their hands. Those are the rules. The referee makes players follow the rules. The referee does not take sides. Take sides? What's that? Think about that. One side, one team. The other side, the other team. The referee cannot uh, say, oh, I like you guys. I'm going to help you. No, the referee can't take sides. The referee has to be alone in the middle. So the referee doesn't take sides. The referee uh, stays fair, doesn't help one team or the other, right? Okay. There are two teams and a referee on the field, on the field, the soccer field. The game is on. The game is on. That's a good expression. The game is on means let's play. Kachikao, right? Let's do it. Let's play. The game is on because you have two teams and a referee on the field. They're ready to play. The game is on. Okay, let's review what we've learned in lesson six. We're going to talk about the people on the field, right? We said there are two teams and a referee on the field. The game is on, on the field. This is part of a soccer field. You can see the goal here, right? There's the goalie. You can see the halfway line here. This is halfway. So this is half of the field. What do we see go happening here? Over here, what do we see? We see a goalie. She's using her hands, right? She's going to try to keep the ball from going into the goal. She's going to keep the other team from scoring. She's going to stop the ball with her hands. A goalie tries to stop the ball, stop the ball, and she's using her hands. What's going on here? A forward tries to score goals. Remember, I talked about different uh, team members have different positions. We talked about goalie, right? Well, this is another position, a forward. A forward, where is a forward? A forward is in forward. They're in the front, right? They try to kick the ball into the goal and they score. Score a goal, score a point, okay? So you can score a goal, score, point, Score a point. Whoops, where'd happen to my N? My N disappeared. Score a point or score a goal. Guess what? Oh, where's my A? Okay. If you play basketball, boom, 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 right? You score, what do you score? You score a basket. Basket. You score a basket. Okay? So, but it's all points, right? Every game. 
you score points. So a forward tries to score goals or tries to score points. Okay? A defender, a defender tries to stop the other team from scoring. So the defender is helping the goalie. The defender helps the goalie. But remember, the defender can't use his hands. He can't use his hands. Only the goalie can use her hands. So a defender tries to stop the other team from, stop from scoring. They work together. They're on the same team, on the same team. Here, a midfielder, a midfielder passes the ball to a forward. So this person is on the same team as the forward. They're on the same team. A forward and a midfielder. She passes the ball to the forward. The forward tries to kick it in the goal. These, the defender and the goalie, try to stop them. Okay? So, of course, you have these positions on both teams, right? Of course, you have a goalie over here and other defenders, and you have the forwards for uh, the orange team here, okay? So, you have these positions on both teams. Did I forget one person? Nope. Him, a referee. Look at the referee. What's the referee doing? <sighs> right? The referee is blowing a whistle because something happened. What happened? Maybe somebody made a mistake. Okay, somebody did something. They didn't follow the rules. So the referee blows the whistle. A referee rules the game. Rules the game or make sure the players are following the rules. If somebody doesn't follow the rules, the referee <whistles> blows the whistle and play stops, okay? Then they have to uh, uh, do what the referee says. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Do you like to play soccer? Or maybe you say football, right? There are many rules to playing soccer. But remember, if you play soccer, you have to run a lot. But it's not like running 100 city blocks. It's more fun because you're running back and forth and you're chasing a ball. So you don't think about running that far. But you really do run that far. So it's a good game. You make your body strong by running a lot. And it's a lot of fun to play on a team. Okay, well that wraps up lesson six. I hope you enjoyed learning about soccer. We'll see you next time. Take care.